Okay, I just wanted to show some things we got going on here. And um, these are my zinnias and my butterflies. I get butterflies pretty thickly, between 20 and 30 butterflies usually in the early morning. Right now it's been, it's in the end of July, it's been real hot, real dry, but we got still stuff going on. Um, let's see, my raspberry bush, and a uh, pepper plant, <laughs> grown from seed, marigolds. But um, I just found out that marigolds aren't real good to plant right next to your plants since they do uh, inhibit the growth of plants, they don't let them grow to their full potential. I got some, let's see, toothache plant here. Let's see, my catnip's all dried up. Everything's getting so dry because um, hardly any rain. I bet a lot of places are having that problem right now. Here's my oregano. And I'll show you one of the oregano flowers here. They're pretty nice. Um, here's some more catnip. And a uh, little yellow butterfly. The catnip's not looking real hot from the dry weather. It's kind of wilty, but it's a pretty plant other than that. Here's the bee balm, which draws in a lot of butterflies just like the zinnia does. Um, it's already gone to seed, so it's not as beautiful as it was. My yarrow gone to seed. That yarrow brings in your beneficial insects very well. And there's more like what it's supposed to look like. And uh, some lemon balm, which is really good in your tea. The yarrow's good for medicinal. Some basil here. And um, this bee balm I wanted to show you because it has a beautiful red flower, which again, they are not as beautiful right now. And then they have these lovely big leaves, so this is a good bee balm to make your tea out of because it's easy to pick. And it has a wonderful flavor too. There's some of my mint and different things. But here's the other thing I wanted to show you. Um, purple cone flower. Little bumblebee there. Um, yeah, this purple cone flower is really good. I mean, I have a lot of butterflies visiting these, and I only have a few of them. And this here is an East Hyssop, and it also makes uh, adds a nice licorice flavor to your tea. I put it in every pot. And the flowers, the um, bumblebees, obviously, and the butterflies love these too. So, some them. Uh, four o'clockers they open in the evening. Plant them a little thickly back there. The butterflies. And I want to show one other thing is I just got this um, Japanese beetle catching bag from Lowe's because I have problems with Japanese beetles. I'm planning on getting some milky spore but for right now they're supposed to fall in there and then they can't get out. It's got a little scent thing over there that attracts them. So um, don't use pesticides. There's usually other alternatives to your bug problems. So, and they just stay in there. Chicken feed. They become chicken feed after this. So, um, yep, that's my herb garden.